Uh, I worked as an accountant for a number of years in Chicago. Uh, and I had a kind of a strange uh, theory of accountancy. Uh, I had always felt, uh, you know, if you got within two or three bucks of it, <laughs> But this never really caught on. <laughs> and as a consequence, I held a number of different accounting jobs, you see. And it seemed like whenever I would go with a company, uh, they would always be having a retirement party. And I found out one thing. They are all alike. Uh, different people will retire, different people make the speeches. But they all say the same tired old thing. I went to one in Chicago for a guy named Chuck Bedlow. He was an accountant, and he was retiring after 50 years. And first of all, Mr. Clayton got up. He was the president. He gave a little address. Then Mr. Tipton, the vice president, gave a little address. And finally, Bruce Higgins, the head of the accounting department, got up and gave a little address. And he was Mr. Trite. He used every cliche that had ever been used at a retirement party. Uh, and he said things like this. Well, uh, uh, golly, I guess today's the day, isn't it? <laughs> it's, uh, it's really going to seem funny, though, uh, golly, walking in here Monday morning and, and not seeing, uh, not seeing, uh, uh, Charlie's uh, smiling, happy face there at the desk. I, uh, I got to calling him smiling, easygoing Charlie. <laughs> and I guess most of us had some sort of nickname or other. We used to call him from time to time. <laughs> I'll, I'll never forget a... <laughs> well, that, that too, yeah. Uh, I'll never forget a kind of amusing thing happened. Uh, I just gotten out of college and... Uh, now, what's the, what's the phrase I'm looking for here? I, I, well, a, a little wet behind the ears, I guess, might be the way to put it. <laughs> and I was made department head here. <laughs> and uh, many's the night that Charlie and I used to uh, sort of uh, burn the midnight oil, so to speak. So let's really hear it now for a wonderful old guy. Uh, uh, Charlie uh, Bredlow. Bedlow, Bedlow. Charlie? <laughs> well, uh, th uh, th uh, thank you very much, Bruce. <laughs> Golly, I've been uh, sitting here uh, listening to uh, Mr. Clayton and um, Miss, Mr. Tipton, and of course Bruce here, and through all of their species, one thought kept sort of a recurring in my mind. I, uh, I think I'm going to throw up. <laughs> Never heard such dribble in all my life. <laughs> I, I don't suppose that it, it ever occurred to any of you that I had to get half stoned every morning <laughs> to make it down to this crummy job. <laughs> You'd, uh, you'd, you'd be smiling and easygoing if you were gassed all the time. <laughs> but you put in your 50 years, and they give you this crummy watch. <laughs> they, I try to, try to make a big deal out of it. It works out to about 28 cents a year. <laughs> but uh, ser seriously, 
if it hadn't been for the 50 bucks a week that I glommed out of petty cash. <laughs> Well, I, I just, uh, I couldn't have made it on the, <laughs> on the lousy salary they pay us. <laughs> oh, and then uh, someone started the rumor about Miss um, Wilson, the, uh, the cashier, and myself. <laughs> and everyone was running, if, uh, you know, when I retire, and uh, she gets back from her vacation in Florida, whether well, uh, we would get married, I suppose, and spend our declining years down there. Uh, she, she isn't coming back, by the way. <laughs> I understand that sweet old Miss Wilson is uh, into this company for about a hundred thousand bucks. <laughs> It's a little deal that she's worked out. <laughs> she either calls it uh, double payrolling or ghost payrolling, or some, something having to do with payrolling. <laughs> I can never make heads or tails out of what she was talking about. Of course, she's uh, down in Mexico with a hundred thou. And I'm up here with this crummy watch. <laughs> so anything that I might say, I suppose it would be sour grapes. <laughs> One last thing. A lot of uh, people have asked me, Charlie, what are you going to do when you finally retire? Oh, are you going to get a little uh, part-time job in Florida or uh, just a lull around the beach? Or in other words, what am I going to do? I have some tapes from some office parties. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm, I'm going to let go for 1,500 bucks a copy. Well, let me let me take that back a minute. Uh, the June picnic may run seventeen five. <laughs> and with the money that I make off of the tapes and Ms. Wilson's under a thou, <laughs> I should uh, do pretty good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.